Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dance Beer Reviews. It's the fourth beer in this week's, what turned out to be four from one from Brew York with their State of Mind beers. And we're going to round this off with <coughs> this one. This is Flux 21. For those of you who are keeping count, it is a battle aged, the final chapter. Now, <coughs> Brew, Brew York released a series of five beers probably last year all film related horror film related um, and the final chapter was the last one of the lot there was the revenge the final chapter the return that's something like that did my brew york um playlist so have a little look each one of them had a different um villain on the front so there was freddy krueger michael myers the candy man um, I think it was the the bad guy from the ring. Um, anyway, they're, they're all they're all on there. Have a little look. So this is what this is what we've got. So this says it is. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> a little bit chilly. It's a plantation rum, battle aged honeycomb, coconut, cacao, tonka, and vanilla imperial milk stout, and it comes in a fifteen one five all percentages there we go and best before is a something of the something 26 the 20th of something so it's the second of the 12th 26 if you can see that with the sun's coming right in i am um, on the back it's a, it's rich dark decadent molasses and luxurious again like me molasses i am um, so it goes Ah, oh, okay. So this is brewed in collaboration with, or was originally brewed in collaboration with, the um, Emperor Brewing. So originally released as part of our fifth birthday celebrations. That's the one. The final chapter was our collaboration with highly rated uh, Stout Legends Emperor's Brewing, a direct descendant of our infamous uh, Tonko ton 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 range, sweet chocolate, floral characteristics from the, uh, from the, ton the Tonka, and a, a cacao counterbalance, the, the, the bitterness, and the sweet molasses depth, coming from a from the addition of a quarter of a ton of honeycomb. Wow, quarter of a ton. It's almost as much as I weigh. Anyway, after 15 months of battle aging in the plantation rum barrels, uh, BA the final chapter now imparts flavors of rich oak, as well as a warm molasses and a rich burnt sugars which add depth to an already deep, decadent beer. It's five UK units. This is five UK units, so I'm not gonna be driving my car anytime soon. Um, so little things that you need to know about other than that. No, what we have got in the background of this beer is the label of the um, final chapter beer from the fifth birthday. Um, there's a Again, it was a white figure, um, trees, a house. I think this is the one that this is the one that's chasing for. He's, I think. Anyway, as I say, if you want to look at that one, check out my um, Brew Your playlist. It's all there. Let's pop it up and see what we've got. You know what? You can't beat reviewing in the sunshine. You really can't. Glass of later. So, beer and glass, what have we got? Again, a lovely something right there. Jet black beer, that's excellent. We got a dusted, a dusting of tanned head. There's, in fact, there's very little bit left when you look in there. You look in there, it's like it's got like a dandelion and beard off, fizzy pop. Let's get the nose so you can smell. Whoa, the alcohol is definitely, definitely there. What was it? No plantation room. Okay. Do you, you, you get that? That's definitely there. We get sweetness, we get chocolate. You know what? I get, I get the coconuts. I get, I get woodiness. 
that I can only put down to being coconut. Um, maybe, maybe oak from the barrel, but it's it's there. There's, there's a woodiness to it. Let's go for the budding combination. Cheers, my dears. Mm. <laughs> After four, I've done. This is probably the thinnest, but it's still medium bodied. It's probably the better one as well. Wow, it's it's brilliant. Oh, it's boozy. It's really boozy. Um, carbonation, light, non-existent. Let's go a big taste. See what we can get. Cheers. I'm waiting for, I'm just waiting for the tonka bean to come in. Right to there. Right to the back end again. So, oh, that is booty. Wow. Wow. This is a beer that, that, that commands respect. It is a dark nightmare of a beer. It's a slayer of a beer. You, you, you just get this and just cane this. You're going to be gone. But you're going to enjoy yourself when you do it. So, straight away, up front, most of the malt, that goes into a sweet milk chocolate. Um, caramelly, toffee, honeycomb, it, it's, it's all there. Then, the the, the, the rum comes in. It's probably kick-ass. The rum comes in, and it just comes from here, comes forward, and it just obliterates everything that's on your palate, and you get left with this alcohol vapour. And then, the Tonka Bean comes through as well. It's it's right behind it. Like it was in a, if it was in a sprint, in a hundred meter dash, and you had Usain Bolt and then some American dude name escapes me. And it, it, Usain Bolt does it. And then a quarter of a second, half a second later, the Yang crosses the line. That's what we're looking at. The battle hits. You get the barrel, and then the tonka bean goes from there, and then both of them settle down quite tight, quite nicely. Get the photographs taken, get the medals, and go on. Um, that is really good. I mean, I mean, superbly good. I love a high-end ABV beer, as you know, and I've had a few that have been oh, too strong, but this is pitched perfect for me. Sweetness is quite nice for me. Might be too sweet for some. Um, it reminds me very much of something that Wonder Beyond would do. But obviously, as, as you know, I think they're some of the masters of, of ABV beer. This is fabulous. It really is. So, this is Brew York's State of Mind Flux 21. Battle aged, the final chapter. Plantation rum, battle aged, honeycomb, coconut. Cacao, tonka, and vanilla, imperial milk stout. All that said, it's going to be sweet, and it is. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Would I buy this again? Yes, I would. Would I recommend this to friends? Without a shadow of a doubt. If any, anybody's watching, if you can find this in your bottle shop, you're going to pay through the nose for it. You're going to pay eight, eight quid, nine quid, because it's a 15 percenter. Do it. Buy it. And save it for a special occasion because you're going to enjoy this. It, it is just superb. It really is. Up to four I've had, which is my favourite because you're going to ask me that question. This one, followed by the Empress Tom Coco Heaven Hills. Of the three that would have that with the Empress Tom Coco beers, the Heaven Hills was the better one for me. I loved it, I thought it was great. Mrs. B. Dad thought it was perfect. She hasn't had a go with this yet, but I'll get back to you and let you know what she says. So, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the uh, Brew York website where you can't buy this beer this time. But you can buy Flux 2022, I think it is. Do that for the video. Do that if you don't. Subscribe down there. See you in the next one. Stay there, stay safe. Hey, Leo.